Welcome back. Cancel culture coming for the Jewish community. The Zionist Organization of America, one of the nation's most prominent Jewish organizations, is set to be expelled by Boston's Jewish Community Relations Council because it was deemed a white supremacist organization for criticizing Black Lives Matter and George Soros. ZOA President Morton Klein put out this tweet in June of 2020. Black Lives Matter is an anti-Semitic, Israel-hating, Soros-funded, racist, extremist, Israelophobic hate group. This prompted a response by seven left-leaning Jewish groups in the Boston area to file a petition with the Boston Jewish Community Relations Council calling for ZOA's removal from that group. Here to discuss this further is the president of the organization himself, Morton Klein. Sir, thank you so much for coming on. By the way, this wasn't left-leaning groups. This was the far-left groups that are really hostile to Israel, J Street and New Israel Fund. It's as far left as you get, far not left. simply left-leaning. Okay, fair enough. Catch us up. I mean, it's an interesting story, obviously. Uh, catch us up on what's going on here. Where do things stand? Well, there's going to be a vote on Tuesday about this. They allege that I and ZOA are racist and white supremacist. Why am I racist? Because I've condemned Black Lives Matter, whose charter states that Israel's a genocidal state, a lie, an apartheid state, a lie, that they train U.S. police to murder blacks, a ridiculous lie. And only this week, one of the leaders said that the goal of Black Lives Matter is Israel's destruction. <laughs> now, I, as a leader of a pro-Israel uh, organization who fights for Jews, it's my obligation to condemn this organization that has never renounced these types of horrific statements in their charter. <laughs> and right. we have to always remember, there's no double standard for bigotry. Black bigotry is as horrific as white bigotry. And they call me a white supremacist. Why? And you'll find this interesting. So will your audience. Because I've been on Sebastian Gorka's program and Steve Bannon's program. They say they are white supremacists, which they are not. And when I'm on the show, all I discuss is Israel, not white supremacy. And I'll also tell you, as a child of Holocaust survivors who has lost virtually my whole family to unbridled racism and unbridled wow. German supremacy over Jews, <laughs> I am extremely sensitive to this type of uh, uh, hatred, and I've been fighting against it my whole life. But these are simply fascists who want to silence those they disagree with or destroy the credibility of those they disagree with. And that's why they're doing this. This is not about racism no. or white supremacy. No, it's, it's, it, you're dead on the money there. We talk about it all the time. These guys, these are some sick <laughs> puppies that are running these groups. Uh, and they, they have a clear agenda, and it has nothing to do. Black, black lives are just the vessel for them. They have a much, much different purpose, absolutely. You also, you also called out uh, racist and anti-Semitic comments made by Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib and Ilhan Omar, among others. Uh, and they, they got on you for that. Uh, so you call out a racist comment, and then they call you a racist. It's, it's, it's really remarkable that you know, Omar uh, has called to end all aid to Israel, calls Israel also an apartheid state. They yeah. both praise convicted killers of Jewish people publicly. And what's more horrific about this is almost no Jewish groups have condemned them. But what's worse is Congress has no, not only not condemned these racist anti-Semites, Ilan Omar and Rashida Tlaib, but they've defended them and they've given them higher positions in the hierarchy of the Democratic Party. Ilan Omar is now a vice chair of an important subcommittee in the Foreign Affairs Department. Pelosi and Steny Hoyer and Chuck Schumer must speak out against this type of hatred, yep. but they haven't done so, and that's deeply disturbing. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's something else because they're, they're so mortified on the left, they're so obsessed with race. They're so mortified to criticize anybody that's not white that they're letting people say some really horrific things and do some horrific things. And it, we saw it today with Maxine Waters. They will not say anything to Maxine Waters. They're mortified of her, and it's, it's really scary for their party. Uh, Morton Klein, sir, thank you so much for the time. It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to be with you. All right.